It's another episode of Living the Salt Life with me, Kristen. Today, I'm going to show you some of the weirdest water sports. Some of us, like me, will look for any excuse to jump in the water. While fishing, surfing, and diving are some popular and exciting choices, others have come up with some reasons that are pretty interesting to say the least. Here's a list. Number one, surf lifesaving. This competitive sport was developed in Australia by members of a lifeguard organization as a way to practice their skills. The practice has spread to New Zealand where lifeguards compete alongside the Australian teams. Canada and parts of Europe have developed their own versions of the sport as well. It's even expanded to a triathlon format with numerous events both in the water and on the beach. Number two, dragon boat racing. This unique paddling sport originated in China where the races commemorate the death of Q Yan the father of Chinese poetry. Number three, water polo and water basketball. Both of these sports utilize the skills of both swimming and ball handling to create unique sports. Water polo is hugely popular with teams from around the world who compete in organized contests, including the Olympic games. Water basketball is a much newer sport, but is slower in gaining popularity. Number four, underwater hockey. This rather unusual sport is played at the bottom of a pool. Participants wear diving masks, fins, and snorkels. This means that in order to breathe, a player must leave the game in surface, sending in a substitute. However, complicated rules govern substitution and teams can be penalized for having too many or too few players in the game. Therefore, most players utilize techniques such as free diving to remain at the pool bottom as long as possible. The game is not really spectator friendly as the action does take place underwater, but major competitions are usually videotaped. Underwater ice hockey is also an extreme water sport. Its rules are similar to underwater hockey, but the game utilizes the underside of a frozen pond's ice as the playing surface. Number five, glacier surfing. Glacier surfing might be one of the riskiest water sports. Few have even attempted it. But in 2007, two pro surfers succeeded in riding a wave caused by a melting glacier. According to the Daily Mail, these men spent three weeks in Alaska, camped out near Child's Glacier, and waited for chunks of the icy wall to come crashing down and create these huge huge waves. One of the surfers told CNN that it was the closest he's ever come to death. He was treading up to his neck in water, looking 90 meters up at a glacier, waiting for ice to break off the top and hoping it falls straight into the water and not crush him below. Aren't those crazy? There's a lot of interesting ways to have fun in the water, and I can totally understand. If you're not busy playing underwater hockey, how about you check out some of my other videos? Just hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to keep up with other interesting videos, which I put out every single week. I'm Kristen, and until next time, keep living the salt. Thank <laughs> you.